Here's an interesting question. This episode is going to be dropping on YouTube the last week of July. So this is, would you consider this to be a summer show? And then we're going deep down a rabbit hole, right? So like, you know, there's, I think there are summer shows, winter shows, spring shows and fall shows, right? Like for instance, I think Buffy is a fall show. Because it's so seasonal, like they'll have like, you know, Halloween and a couple episodes that talk about Thanksgiving, they show Christmas once and, you know, and just, and the whole vibe and demeanor of the series, even though it's set in California, feels like wintertime, feels like fall specifically, but like a little bit of wintertime too. So it's a fall show, right? And X-Files is very much a winter show. It's cold, it's dark, it's bleak. There's not much optimism there, Right. Meanwhile, Samurai Shampoo, Cowboy Bebop, those are summer shows. Like, those are fun, exciting. You can go to the beach and watch them. They're not too deep. You're relaxed. You're not stressed out. There's no long myth arc to, to follow or anything like that. You know, Attack on Titan is a spring show because, you know, it, it's just bright and cheerful on the outside. But lurking just behind the corner, as with spring, we got the heat. The dog days of summer, right? You know, coming. And I'm not talking cross purposes. Some of this seems to contradict each other, but like, you know, this isn't a perfect metaphor. It's just what I think. Also, in the springtime, we have more time and energy for long mysteries and myth arcs and things that will be dis- that will be transmitted to us, like you know, mysteries that will be revealed two seasons later. Right? You have time for that in the, su- in the spring because spring's hectic anyway. Right? Uh, full metal. Feels like a summer show. It's short. It, it, summer never lasts long enough, right? You know, and again, it's, it, there is a myth arc, but it's not super complicated. You know, there's only, what is it, 65, 66 episodes? Like, you know, that's just two seasons of Attack on Titan. And that, like, come on, what are we talking about here, right? I could have already watched all of Full Metal almost twice at this point. So, the, but the obvious thing here would be to say this is a summer show because it's bright and cheerful and, of course, water, it's the beach, you know, like we're, we're on the ocean a lot, right? I'm not convinced of that because there's this long, enduring mystery. It's like he'll set something up now and people have told me that we'll not get paid off for 400 episodes. That's feeling like a fall show to me. What do you think? Like, this is, like, this is an inane, stupid conversation, but... I'm going to be doing 1,100 introductions. Not everyone's going to hit for everybody. So, like, if you care, do you think this is a summer show, a spring show, a fall show, or a winter show? I'm leaning towards fall right now, for now. But, yeah, you're in the middle of summer, so maybe that will bias you by the time you watch this. At any rate, you know where we are, and you know it's episode 107, and you know where we're going. Three, two, one. Got the check sound. Levels, we're good. Seeing hope beyond turmoil, huh? <laughs> they they really are bulls in China shots, aren't they? They just come in guns blazing, figuratively. Here it comes. He seems pretty smug about all this, doesn't he? Here start here started the rebellion. Yeah. You should listen to your old man. You're just a tool, a cat's paw. This is how you stay in good shape, man, doing all that work. Damn. How are you feeding that many people in a desert climate? Jesus. I guess we're, uh... I guess we are, uh... Doing a focused episode on the rebellion. This episode. Yeah, they're pissed. That's right. Nothing like a crying baby to start a rebellion. Don't hold suspicion. 
He's driven mad by his paranoia. Oh, that's so nice. You don't want to suspect me. Thank you for sharing that with me. <laughs> I ain't doing nothing. <laughs> He's not wrong about this. Like I said before, though, if you're surrounded by ocean for 100 miles, there's not another island for 100 miles, you could use it, but that must not be the case. Because you'll affect, apparently you're going to affect other people, right? I'm pissed. Eat my ass. <laughs> you always were wild, wild and crazy. Yeah. I can lead, too. I'm starting to wonder if Vivi could have talked any sense into him. Look how radicalized he is. How militant he is. And, of course, they're making his eyes glow with hatred, right? I, till now, I thought she could talk sense into him, but now I'm not convinced. It's possible she may not have been able to. Oh, that was light reflecting off his glasses. Okay. But it made him look psycho. Are you going down memory lane again? Terrible news. Ah, oh, crap. Apparently it wasn't top-notched. He's not here, so you failed. Like, there's only one conclusion here, right? Incompetence! Right. Well, not anymore. I'm pretty sure she killed him. I'm not 100% on that, but it seems like she did. Not good. <laughs> he loves the gloat. He's really in this for the gloating. <laughs> you just piss me off more and more. Nothing good. But that, this is the answer I want. He's quite mad, you know. Yeah. Really? He wants the, the rebels to kill him. Not good. Krillin and Death is watching your entire country be destroyed in front of your eyes. <laughs> Why would I reveal this? <laughs> I insist. That's true, though. This is Yazi Maldus, whatever his name was, in Watchmen. You can tell your plan after it's happened. You would never tell anybody your plan before it happens. That'd be stupid. I don't know. You seem pretty incompetent, too. That's right. Hey, it had to be sometime. Yeah, <laughs> don't hold suspicion. <laughs> I like that. You should, man. He, he has sucked. That's the other part of this that we haven't really factored in. Oh, wait. Okay. This is some kind of mimic or something. This is, uh, what is it, number three? Who can mimic? Yeah, that's who this is. That's not good. 
That is not, that's how you do it, man. That is not good. I don't care. Let them eat cake. As far as we know, she never said that, but, you know. You just need a few little catchphrases to piss people off. <laughs> You're goddamn right I did. Don't make me bust a cap. Damn, Cretan, that's not very nice, sir. <laughs> this doesn't make you mad, does it? <laughs> I'm taking your... Well, you're already taking your water. Oh, okay. I'm taking your dance powder, too. That's a good point, actually. The Navy wouldn't care that you have enough room be between your island and the next island. Using it's forbidden. They don't care. So they would come in and... Yeah, okay, I get it. It's kind of like if uh, you're building a nuclear reactor and you're a small country and the rest of the world doesn't trust you with it, they'll stop you. Because they don't trust you. Yeah, king. Yeah, <laughs> kid's gonna kick your ass. You are a jerk. Oh, man. We didn't need that. Well, that's gonna start the fight now, ain't it? Oh, yeah. There's no coming back from this. Yeah, <laughs> kid is pissed, man. <laughs> When I was that age, all I cared about was what was coming on the TV next, right? That kid, is he cares about bigger things. Oh, boy. These are assumed the, the, the Imperial Guard here, I assume, are the billions. You know, the impersonating uh, the Guard. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if he was talking to that guy because uh, the Mimic didn't know who the hell that was. So somebody had to tell him who it was. Because they didn't let us hear the dialogue, right? <laughs> that kid is psychotic, man. Yeah. <laughs> Because <laughs> he, he knows this is bullshit, that's why. Kick his ass. That's right. No, I don't think he does know it's bullshit. He's just pissed in general. For the overall circumstances, right? He holds suspicion in his heart. I'd be mad too, to be fair. Damn. I mean, we knew that was coming, but damn. Oh, yeah. You're all dead now. She never got to see him as an adult, man. That blows. You, you just made a martyr. Quit whispering. <laughs> yeah, look at him. He's starting to break character. Look at him, he's breaking character, man. You need to stay in character, dude. You're a little too over the top to be impersonating serious people. Oh, yeah, it's on now. It's on like Donkey Kong. Burn it all to the ground. Yeah. Not good. Damn, man. We just parked our ship there, you dick. And then it could fly so you could have flew over my ship and you just destroyed my ship for no reason? Well, crap. 
This feels like a damn problem. Can you fly? I didn't think you could. <laughs> Holy crap. Wow. Damn. And again, they manipulate us with the screaming kids, right? And crying kids. Maybe this is a winter show, man. This is getting dark as hell. <laughs> You're just too awesome. Nobody can stand up to you. <laughs> now we're talking. <sighs> Not good. See, his problem was he broke character too early. Like several minutes ago. But nobody, everybody's too angry. They'll never notice. Look at him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. You know what? I think this is a lost cause, man. We need to get the hell out of here. She's pretty happy. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't seem like he's excited about anything. Yeah, what are we going to do about this, Chopper? Oh, wait. I thought that was Chopper. Where the hell is Chopper? Yeah, Chopper's at the other. He's he's uh, at the... Cause, River Town or a rain rain dance town or whatever that is. Well, crap. That's none of this is good. <sighs> Not good. This is ugly, man. Like, the, just the devastation. Really? Damn. Yeah, no shit. Spit it out, kid. <sighs> Man. Somebody listen to this kid. They're not going to, but... <laughs> yeah, he's done, man. He's over it. Yeah. He is over it, man. Pickups, uh, hoes, and, and plows, right? Oh, it's all part of their plan. All part of their plan. Yeah. Or we're just being manipulated. <laughs> Dumbass. See, he couldn't stay in character long enough. He's not a serious person. He, but he's the one with the power, right? So you have to use it. Yeah, this is ugly. Burn it down to the... Burn it all. They are mobilized and they are radicalized. Two very bad things. Oh, and by the way, they're well equipped now, apparently. Meanwhile... <sighs> Yeah, it all fits together perfectly. Yeah, this is outrageous. This is starting to feel like uh, Legend of Galactic Heroes, man. The scope of it all in the politics. The country is infuriated, I tell you. Yeah, it's all coming apart, man.
Yeah. Because everybody would be questioning the king at this point. Even the people that trust him the most. Like him. You fall back on what you know. You know your training. You know your oath. You gave an oath. It's all coming together as uh, Emperor Crocodile Palpatine predicted. Rain base, that's what it's called. Jesus, I couldn't think of it. He's a cheerful man. <laughs> it's all coming together. Oh, Luffy's pissed. She did help at some point without realizing it. kill the other person I tell you what he's he's a genius <laughs> your clothing's just too much I can't take it he used their love to kill them <laughs> he's had it man he's about to have a psychotic break <laughs> this must have been what I've seen. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I thought it was near the end of the episode, right? So I was checking. I think that's what I saw right here. <laughs> he's pissed. Yeah, he is, he's stupid. I must have saw that, right? That's what it was. <laughs> he is stupid. <laughs> I'll kick every square inch of your ass. <laughs> yep man he is he's intimidating as hell man that's my question damn man that wasn't necessary <laughs> I'm out of here <laughs> I go sleepy now. Just gave myself a concussion so I don't have to hear any more of your crap. There's no time, man. You're screwed. Yeah, furious. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so here's here's my question. Now that we've seen this play out to this extent, and we see what the stakes are, we see how much devastation has already happened. Could this have been prevented if our heroes had gotten here quicker? If they hadn't stopped by and gotten, you know, um, uh, Nami fixed? Yeah, you know, I know they're trying to save her life. I understand that. But it, say that they, they hadn't been necessary. If they had come straight here, do you think that what would have been different? Could they have gotten, could she have talked to uh, Kozo in time, maybe turn him around, maybe make him think, see things a different way? Could getting to her father have changed anything? Like, I don't know. Like, that, that I'm going to think about that. Like, it's going to be a, a couple hours before I can do my next reaction. And in the meantime, I'll be thinking about that and we'll see what I come up with before the next episode. But it's possible and you know the, you, you the way things played out, you know, we can't rewrite the past, right? So the way things played out, you have had to sacrifice Nami, but if you could save hundreds, maybe thousands, tens of thousands of people, it would be worth it. But would getting there like a week faster would that have changed anything? It's a good question, right? 